Hey guys, today I'm going to make a tuna melt sandwich. So let's get toasting. I've got some tuna here that I already drained the water off of. This is a 12 ounce can, but it doesn't really matter what size can you use. I don't measure anything when I season it anyway. So I just taste it and add a little bit and taste it. So um, this is just some mayonnaise. So I'll Put a little bit of mayonnaise in there. Might have to add a little bit more. I just kind of add it as I go so I don't overdo it. I don't like it too soupy, too mayonnaise-y. And also I have half a lemon here, so squeeze that lemon juice in there. And maybe just add just a little bit of salt, not too much. Um, tuna can be kind of salty. And um, this is California dill weed, so a little bit of that. Like I said, I just add a little as I go, keep tasting it, and also a little bit of granulated onion here, or onion powder. So, start off with about that much, and I'll get this all mixed together. And like I said, I just kind of taste it as I go along, and if it needs a little more something, I just add it until it's about the way I want it. I'm going to put this on English muffins, and so I've already toasted this one, but you could use any kind of bread that you want. Just toasted it first because, um, you know, it gets more crispy that way. That's the way I like them. So we'll just spread a little bit of this tuna on each one of these. And I didn't add any uh, pickle relish or pickles to this, so I think I'll uh, just put a dill pickle on top. I have some of these... Uh, dill pickle um, sandwich dills here so um, grab a couple of these out of here we'll put a nice big dill pickle on each one of these like that that looks pretty good and I have two different kinds of cheese this one here is shredded cheddar jack so we'll put a little of that on this one and I'm putting them in this pan because you can see the cheese is kind of getting all over. I don't want that to get into my oven. And I also have some sliced Havarti cheese. This is one of my favorite cheeses. I haven't used this in a while, but I'll just kind of fold that over so it'll fit better. And we'll put a slice of that on there. Now we'll get that into the toaster oven. And I'm going to use the high toast setting, the dark toast setting, and I'll put this in there until the cheese melts. It looks like the cheese is melted, so let's get those babies out of there. These look good. That Havarti cheese melts real nice and has a lot of flavor. Let's try that one out. That's really good. I like those dill pickles on there. I guess we better see what Annie thinks. I don't know if she likes pickles, but she probably likes tuna. We'll give her a little piece here. Hey! <laughs> she made off with it. <laughs> she came back for more in the tail's wagon, so I guess that means it was good. <laughs> Yeah, she chomped it down. <laughs> both cheeses were good. I liked them both. But um, if you haven't tried Havarti, you ought to try it sometime. Anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.